My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can create a reusable component in UiPath with libraries. A reusable component is particularly useful when we use uh, activities in our workflows uh, over and over. So say that uh, you, in your job as an RPA developer, you create things uh, over and over. That could be like uh, closing down the same apps, it could be logging into systems, it could be opening up browsers and all those things. We can just uh, create a reusable component. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel to get all my future videos. With that said, let's get started. So we want to create a reusable component in UiPath. First, we will click the library and we will just uh, leave the name and location as they are. So click create. And what we'll do here is that we will create a simple uh, reusable component. It will just be a message box, but then you get the syntax and you can easily just create your own more advanced workflows afterwards. So first we're here in the library. So we click a new sequence. That'll be um, our uh, sequence. And this could just be message box. Hey, created. And we created it here. And then we can just uh, find a message box activity here. And what this does, it just tells you hi. Oh, hey, actually. <laughs> And now we're done creating our reusable component, then we need to publish it. So go up here. If you are running the studio version, you will only be able to publish it to a local folder or nugget feed URL. However, if we use Orchestra, the enterprise version, we'll be able to publish it to Orchestrator. So this one is the studio version. We'll just publish it to a local folder. It's the same thing. So. Um, Click here, we want to choose where we want to publish it. And I want to publish it to uh, my desktop, to this new folder. And of course, uh, choose a library that makes sense to you. So you can have all your packages there, or maybe just the packages that you use in a certain project uh, located here. I'll just have it on the desktop in this new folder. So we select a um, folder, and then we click Publish. Um, it's building and compiling. And in five seconds, uh, we have published our project here. And uh, you can see some information about it and it's successfully, so click OK. Now, uh, let's uh, create a new process. Say that we want to use this uh, library, so we just create a completely new process um, created here. And we want to use our uh, message box uh, reusable component in this uh, process. So let's open up the main. And what we'll need to do here is that we need to go up to Manage Packages. Then we go to Settings. And we need to add our package. So uh, click the plus sign here and the new package source. We could call this maybe just MSG box. And then we need to find our folder where we placed our package in. So uh, click the three dots here and then find a desktop. This what that was the new folder like this. And then we click add. So now we added the message box. We can see it out here and we can see that it has a blank library for. We could of course have renamed it uh, before, but now it's just blank library. So uh, that's, uh, that's really good. So now we can start to use it, but however, we need to uh, mark it and we need to press install and click save. So now we can have this blank library for, that's our message box. Um, and when you create it, you could of course have renamed it otherwise. So that one's good. Now we just find it here in their activities. So uh, the blank uh, library four, that was our library and we have a message box hey in it. So we drag this one in and uh, you'll see that you cannot change it. So um, you need to, uh, if you want to edit it, you need to edit it in library and republish it. So, uh, but we can run it. And you'll see that we'll have a message box here the hey message box. So that's how you build reusable components and use them in your workflows every day. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. Have a good day. Bye bye.